Good afternoon, my name is Angela Flynn. Uh, sometimes, you know, it seems like we're in a world gone mad, especially when I picked up the paper this morning and read an article that PGE, their new CEO, um, early, pledges to have more safety. This after Nightline spent Saturday night chronicling the poison, the hexavalent chromium that PG&E has been poisoning the water in Hinkley for decades. This after watching them force microwave emitting smart meters onto every home in their territory. It's, it's just hard to understand how we can look at this and all just kind of sit here and calmly accept it. And then people who are being harmed by these meters are removing them to protect themselves. And then I read the letter from one of the people here. PG&E writes to her and says, you have endangered the public by removing your smart meter. She hired a licensed electrician to remove the smart meter. There was no endangering the public. This is why they say they removed, or why they have cut off her power. Meanwhile, PG&E hired non-licensed electricians to put the smart meters on. I mean, it's just absurd what's going on here. We really need to end this corporate abuse of our lives. I, you know, it's just hard to even understand it. Um, I know it is hard for many people to realize what's going on with all this. And just recently, in May 2011, the WHO Department of Public Health and Environment on International Classifications of Disease had a workshop on new diseases, which they addressed electrohypersensitivity. They know it's a real phenomenon. The problem in our world is things don't keep up with what is actually happening. We have all these legal problems with having to follow through. So there's, I don't, it's just, we're at the point now where thousands, millions, how many people are getting sick from smart meters all over the world? I know the CPUC has already had over 10,000 complaints over smart meters. I don't know if all of those are over health complaints because I have not read them, but I'm sure many of them are. And this is a widespread problem. It's a growing problem. And well, I guess just to finish, you know, pg &E and the CPUC say that we must have smart meters on our homes. However, the California Public Utility Code says that we have an option to not receive time variant pricing services and incur no additional charge as a result of the exercise of that option. And it's just, there's such a crazy disconnect going on. I just don't even know how we can address it, but I really, we all need you all to somehow step up for this. Thank you. Anyone else?